Hi, this is Carmel from Instructional Technology and IT Services here to show you how to use the Moodle discussion forums for your English 200 course with Professor Horowitz. So here is, I'm inside your course site, um, here's the welcome block and a news forum for you um, where uh, Professor Horowitz is going to be sending you information about your course or you know, meeting times or special events that are going on in your course. Um, the second section down here is Section 1, Class Topic Discussion Forum. And this is where you're going to have a bunch of different discussion forums on the various authors that you're looking at in your course. The first one is James Joyce and you have two posts already for you to look at here. As those posts increase, as people reply to these uh, discussion forums, you will see that number increase, and that's a cue that you need to get in there and check out what people are talking about. So for now, I'm gonna go into the James Joyce discussion and take a look at what Barry has posted. You can see there's a post and a timestamp of when it was posted. Um, you can see if there's any replies. Um, and the reason we're doing this is because there's no replies yet, so we need to teach you how to use this so you feel comfortable. Um, so you'll see the first um, discussion topic is comments on the Macaulay blog. So if I click inside of that, you'll see a new window where um, Professor Horowitz has listed the link to the blog and some comments here about the blog um, topics. Um, and you can, once you have read this, you can mark it having been read by clicking that mark red. See how that blue bounding box that was around the post disappears and that's a cue that you've read this post. You're good to go. Um, you might want to hit the reply button to reply to um, your professor's comments. You can type in this little window here. You can um, use the editor. This is a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. You can use the bold. You can change the color of the font. Um, you can change the type. Uh, you can also increase the font size. Use the indent tool to indent or use the alignment features. You can add an image. Um, and you can also add links. So those are the fancier pieces of this. Um, but basically, what I think your professor is looking at is your uh, written reflection is the most important. So once you finish your reflection, you can come down here and add an attachment if you had an additional piece that you wanted to add. This is just like adding an attachment in an email. So you hit Browse, and then you click on the file you wanted to ad attach, and press Open. See here, I've attached this academic calendar, um, which I'm not going to post because you really don't need to see the academic calendar, but that's just an example, okay, for you to see how to post to a discussion forum. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you is the option of viewing posts. So I clicked back out to this forums area, and don't be worried, this is just a different way. This is all the forums in your post in your course site showing up in one area. So it's fine. This is the news forum, and then these are your readings um, uh, forums. I'm going to click into Gertrude Stein. You can see there are two discussion thre uh, uh, threads and then two posts here. So I'm going to click in that, and I will see there is um, one thread from Barry and one from Joseph. So if I click in, to questions one and two, you will see here is the uh, Professor Horowitz's um, post, and then here is um, Joseph Snyder's post. If I want to change the way that those are displayed, um, you can click this drop down here, and right now it's in nested form. Nested form shows that this is dependent on this post. So it's a slightly indented, which you can't see as well right now because um, here I'm going to put it unread so you can see the difference. So see how this bounding box is slightly indented? That's nested form. Another way to um, uh, see the post is flat with oldest first. So that way um, the 
oldest post will show up on the top and you can change it to um, threaded form and this is an interesting one because it see how it made Joseph's post into just a link that um, this threaded form one is really good if there's like 30 or 50 posts on one topic um, and you want to see all of them on one page at one time it'll just show up as a link rather than the whole text which is a nice way to view um, which post you need to read so just so you know there's options on how to view your posts um, that can be very helpful to you okay and that's about it if you have any further questions or you get stuck as you're working please feel free to call the service desk at 925-631-4266 Thanks so much and have a great uh, Moodle experience. <laughs> Bye.